and turn it on. Boom, off you go. What's up guys? Today I want to discuss something for longevity. This is the red light therapy panel. It has red light and infrared light in it. So why do I use this? I use this because it's supposed to help with healing, skin conditions, nasty wrinkles that appear on your face, supposedly. It's supposed to help with hair loss and nagging low injuries. Because if you lift like me, sometimes you're sore and sometimes you pull a muscle, sometimes you get hurt. And when you actually stand in front of this light, it does help with some minor healing. This is not a cure for everything by any means. I consider this like a nice little toy. It's also very relaxing, especially on a cold day. I go right before bedtime because that's when it kind of works with my schedule. I don't have time to do it in the morning. In the mornings, I gotta take care of the children. I gotta get myself ready. I gotta get my cardio in. I gotta go take care of a whole bunch of different things. And I simply don't have time to do red light therapy. The red light is supposed to be the best in the morning, but if you don't have time to do it, do it in the evening like I am. Like I said, I'll stand in front of it, especially if it's a cold day. It kind of warms you up real nice. It makes you feel good. Is it really doing much? Hard to say. I'll tell you this, for many years I slept like this and this is because I had an issue with my sinuses and I could not breathe out of my nose so that was the only position I could sleep in. So guess what happened? This thing started to hurt really bad. I had a lot of shoulder issues, like a lot of pain, nagging pain. You know, 0 to 10 I give this pain maybe like a 2 or 3 but it was ongoing. But ever since I got this and I just simply stand in front of it, it seemed to have helped. Maybe it's placebo, maybe it's not. It's hard to say. I would recommend this. Definitely a useful little tool. I've been using it roughly 9-10 months so far. And I mean, time will tell how it goes. I use it for at least 10 to maybe 12-13 minutes per day. Stand in front of it, flip around, try to get most of my uh, skin exposed. You naturally have to be naked in front of it to get the best exposure. In the future I might consider getting a couple more panels so I can kind of lift this thing up a little bit and put a one panel underneath it so I can actually get my feet because right now my feet and my legs there is basically no exposure to the red light and I mean I want to try to treat my whole body when I do this. Also when you use it it's recommended so you don't stare directly into it it's recommended that you use this glasses for protection they're supposed to be preventing a lot of these uh, red and infrared lights to go into your eyes so i call it like the terminator glasses i'll terminate you i'll terminate you with the lights yeah okay <laughs> but yeah let me give you a little demo you can see what's it about dead body coming watch out and turn it on boom off you go usually I start with my back like this get as much exposure as I need, maybe four or five minutes. Then I turn to different sides, feels nice, feels comfortable. Like I said, it might be a placebo, who knows, but so far I'm, I'm enjoying this experience. I usually put on the glasses only when I look directly into it, because sometimes if I'm bored, I'll have my phone here, I'll catch up on the news, watch a YouTube video or something, or sometimes I place the phone on top of the panel so I can listen to music, then I slowly kind of rotate into it so I get my sides, so I get this way I get my shoulder, my arm, some of these to get my lats. I do a turn such as this to get a little bit of the side chest. I do everything on the other side. And when it comes time to actually go face forward, I put on the glasses, the terminating glasses. And then I just kind of relax, do my thing. Like I said, if you never tried the red light therapy, I would definitely recommend it. There are a lot of panels to choose from. Are some better than the others? Maybe. This one by far is not the best panel. It's not the most expensive. It's kind of like I was saying in the middle. It was definitely a good bang for the buck. And you shut this sucker off right here. So that's my experience with the red light therapy. I think in the future, maybe I'll consider red light therapy for my hair as well, because they sell these helmets and that's supposed to help with the hair regrowth because I'm noticing some hair is popping out and it's definitely not a fun experience when you wash your hair and you have just like clumps of nastiness in your hands. Maybe I'll buy it and make a series out of it and see if it does any progress with hair loss. All right, shirt on. One, two, three, bam! Quickest change in history.
So the red light panel, like I say, has red light and infrared light. The theory is, like I said, this light goes under your skin, it's supposed to stimulate your cells, it's supposed to help with collagen, collagen is supposed to help with wrinkles, and it's supposed to heal your body in terms of muscle aches. And there are a million different videos about the theory of application, how the red light works. You can look at all of those. I'm not gonna break it down because I'm just telling you my experience with this. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. We'll see. Maybe I'll do some more coverage on this in the future and share my experiences a little bit more. Till next time.